Anchor has come out with their own MagSafe style charger. And this article caught my attention. I don't have this product yet. They didn't send it to me yet. But it, this, this article caught my attention because the actual USB connector is huge. <laughs> you see that thing there? Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, what's going on? I'm sure that's why it caught the attention of The Verge as well. The reason for this is because they're not tapping into the real MagSafe stuff. MagSafe can deliver a wireless charge at 15 watts. Mm -hmm. It's a proprietary thing. Apple wants to sell you their charger, right? This one here is going to be limited to 7.5 watts, but they still they wanted to make it as small as possible, even though it's not official MagSafe. They want it to, obviously, it will be working in place of MagSafe. And so the reason you have such a big USB connector is for their particular design, they had to move certain components that would normally live in the Qi portion of a Qi wireless charge pad, they had to move certain components into the actual USB connector, uh -huh. which gives you that fat USB connector right there. Does that bother you? I don't know. I would have to see in practice if all of a sudden I can't get it plugged in where I want to get it plugged in. Probably not. It probably no. wouldn't bother me. And I like the look of it. And it might be something that people are willing to put up with given the cost savings that comes along with buying third party as opposed to first party. See, this unit is set to retail for $22 as opposed to, what is Apple's MagSafe? Is it $50 or $40? It's more dollars. It's going to cost you more dollars. $40. So yeah, it's, it's a roughly half price if you go with the Anchor equivalent. But just keep in mind, you're going to have to weigh that option because you have 15 watt versus 7.5 watt. You got to figure out what that's worth to you. You could have two wireless chargers at 7.5 or get the Apple one at 15. It's up to you. Mm -hmm.